a sophomore at Lincoln High. And this is, Dad didn't hear you because he wasn't actually listening. <laughs> If a tree falls in the forest and my dad is there to hear it, does it make a sound? Sometimes. He began to go deaf when I was seven, so sometimes. There are days when the disease in his ears dictate we can forget we ever failed a sign language class. Some days won't forgive. Forgiveness is not something I've allotted myself. It was chosen over our communication and his broken eardrums that I instead should have five more milligrams of Adderall prescribed to keep me awake. He doesn't wake up on time anymore. Like the broken grandfather clock in our living room, I can't describe this to him with my hands. We used to play airplane when I was little. Dad's hands like clouds would lift me higher than the countertops, which at the time seemed monumental, just as monumental as his first pair of hearing aids weren't, as monumental as the realization that it is my fault. We have to yell all the time. Maybe I should have listened to him. Suck it up, Anna. Deal with it, Anna. Change your attitude, because your depression is not that bad, Anna. Do it for me, Anna. I wish I could. My tears are hail on his metal garage roof. With band saws and cigarettes, he tries to drown it out. And cigarettes come in packages like birthday candles. They burn in the same way. I'm left to wonder how many birthday candles do we have left? How many more family dinners are his ears and lungs invited to? This morning, we missed the sunrise. But maybe it's just one of those days. Because there are days when the disease in his ears dictate we can forget we ever failed a sign language class. Some days won't forgive. Oh.